Okay, so this is a quick look at how my Lenovo P11 works with Swift compared to my PC, what you get in the box and how I rate it. So really my Android Swift story starts with this little Huawei M5. It's a great little tablet, um, really nice screen, good quality, good build, uh, but with only 32 gigabytes. It struggled to cope with Swift's regular updates, uh, often requ requiring a complete uninstall and reinstall. And then there's the next issue. Although it's only a few years old, Huawei stopped upgrading the um, operating system at Android 8, and that is no longer supported by Swift. So what's the alternative? Um, well, what I've decided to do is pick up one of these Lenovo P11 tablets. Uh, it's another Android tablet, um, and as the name suggests, it's an 11 inch tablet, so considerably bigger than the um, eight inch tablet I had before. Um, and I will show you Zwift launching on it. Let's see how long it takes. Now this is the first time I've paired the um, device to my Watt bike, uh, so it's not surprising I had to search for it. And let's go for Tempest Fujit just to make life easy. And we're away. So here we are looking at a side-by-side -side comparison with Android Swift on the left and PC Swift on the right. I think it's clear that the PC is overall better. Uh, my avatar's more detailed. You've got a sort of softer and yet sharper line somehow shadows on the road look better and things like the light on the wheel just really show a better quality of graphics but while i'd like to see swift improve its android graphics i really think this is good enough it's pretty good in for the most part background graphics are good it's certainly usable and things like the convenience of being able to mount everything on your bike and use it uh, portably mean a lot to me. So what about the different menu systems? Well I think the Android setup that we're looking at here is really clear, uh, very simple, it's easy to use and for me completely intuitive. And what about the PC menus? Well, they're quite similar for the most part until you get to the choice of routes. Um, this is a relatively new update. And for me, it's just a bit fiddly, a bit of a step back, really. So what about Android in-game settings? Well, Really, these are pretty basic. In particular, you have no control at all over the graphic settings. You can control things like trainer difficulty, as you'd expect. By contrast, with PC, you get all of that and a whole host of really good screen resolution settings. 
So we should really take a look at what you get in the box for your £179. So the P11 is nicely packaged with all the usual bump and a turbocharging USB-C cable setup. Um, for my money, the tablet looks and feels a lot better than I'd expect for this amount of money. Um, really, a premium feeling tablet for what I would take as a bit of a budget price. So what to say about this tablet in summary? Well, this is the version of the P11 that we've bought. Um, it's got the four gigabyte RAM, 128 gigabytes on board, and it's 2K, or you might think of it as old fashioned HD. So definitely not 4K. Um, I'm really keen on the build quality. I think it's got a great screen. I know it's not ultra HD, but it's only 11 inch screen, so it doesn't really matter. I think it looks nice. It's got a healthy amount of onboard memory. Um, and I've been quite impressed by the Lenovo upgrade roadmap, which tells us that we'll be seeing operating system upgrades for at least a year or so. And beyond that, security updates all the way through to 2024. Uh, so definitely improvement on what we got from Huawei. What am I not so keen on? Well, it came loaded with a lot of bloatware. Um, I'm removing it slowly, but haven't got rid of all of it. And I think that's probably why I'm also finding it to be a bit of a power hog. Uh, I find that if you leave it um, in sleep mode for a week or so, uh, it's basically empty of power. And I think that's because it's regularly polling for um, various things that it might think I might be interested in or to look at it more cynically, things it might try to sell to me. And I'd rather it didn't do that, frankly. But it's only two things. They're probably fixable as I go through and chisel away at the bloatware. And that's it, really. I think it's great. Uh, I'm happy to recommend it.